All right, hi, Paul Hefty here with uh, welcoming you to 493W coaching course here at Penn State. We're going to do a quick overview, look at the structure, some uh, class assignments, and some expectations, and then give you a simple task here at the end. All right, as I mentioned, my name is Paul Hefty. I'm the instructor for the uh, 493 online course. Um, I have my own website, so you can go ahead and click on the link there. Uh, I'll give you my resume, my background if you're interested. Um, and the other thing is there's some resources that you can use for the course with the website to do uh, coaching consulting work uh, through the university as well. All right, let's get right into it. Let's look at the course focus here. A um, couple quick questions. Are you thinking of coaching in the future? Some of you might. Uh, if there's no coaching in the future, do you just like sports? Is that why you took the course? Or number three, the course sounded like a fun, easy 400 level or W course uh, requirement and a way to get an A uh, at the same time. Uh, if you answered to yes to any or all of these, um, then this course is for you. Again, it's gonna do all three here. We wanna think of it as a way to help you develop your ethics, your values, some principles, your management and leadership skills and styles here. So as you graduate from Penn State and go out into the world, whatever career you do, hopefully you become a leader in some fashion. And hopefully the course here will help you develop a solid foundation of philosophy for that. So class objectives, again, the first purpose is just to introduce you to the art and the science of coaching. And how we're going to do that is we're going to have a lecture like most courses, but the lectures um, are short. It's more about giving you some uh, workshops where you have to problem solve, think of uh, ways to come up with answers and then cite references to that uh, to design your own head coaching portfolio. And we'll get into what that means. So each of the assignments you're going to do are going to be more about active learning. That's the workshops than just spitting back information because you need to apply some of the research you're doing and then put it to uh, your final coaching portfolio, which is your leadership style. So why we're doing this, we want you to try to gain again some experience in the art of being a leader. And we're just gonna use kind of sport as a vehicle for that. So the format, um, again, you're gonna take on the role of being a head coach for one calendar year, you get to pick any sport, genders, levels, and uh, you can get into different different um, choices for that. If you got questions, I'll help you through that here in these first few uh, weeks. Again, you must have at least one assistant, but you can have as many as you want as we go through. But again, you're gonna be a head coach for one calendar year. We're gonna keep things pretty informal and interactive. So that's the idea of the discussion boards. Um, hopefully you'll read the other person's uh, discussions and that'll help shape and view your view and your opinions and you'll grow from it. We're going to use a lot of real life events um, that's going to help you uh, learn from their other experiences um, since you don't have a lot yourself. It's a, just a powerful way to learn. Uh, we're going to use multiple resources. You will have the textbook which you're going to need to get to do the quiz bowls. Um, we're going to read articles. We'll do the individual Research, I'll give you outside research. Workshops, again, like I said, discussions. Lectures will be short, but uh, it'd be important. Um, and then you've got my website. And then last, I'll tell tons of stories. I apologize ahead of time for that, but these are from my experiences in the coaching profession, and hopefully they can help you. So the reason we're doing the course this way is there's just a simple uh, thing to look at how you retain information. Um, you can see very few of us can just read the information or hear it and we're going to retain it. So the idea is through the, all the assignments you're doing, it's where you have to develop and apply the research, the information you're getting, but also put it into your own personal philosophy. So hopefully by applying it, experiencing it, and then obviously, uh, with the final coaching portfolio, it's a way to actually, you're going to actually teach it. Then hopefully most of this information is retained once you leave the course. Some pointers. Research is the key. So you need to find quality sources, quality references. 
because this will support these ideas. Otherwise, it's just an opinion. Anybody can do that. But you want to go ahead and do research uh, from quality sources to help give you some credibility in your opinions. Uh, the final project, it's labor intense, so you want to chip away. But the good thing is every assignment, every workshop, everything you do throughout the course is going to be a component of that final project. So the more work you do up front and the improvement you make each time you get feedback, the more of that final project will actually be done at the end. Uh, and then lastly, there is no final. That coaching portfolio is due the last day of the class. But I will accept um, um, late extensions uh, into uh, Monday night of finals week with that then too. Course expectations on Canvas. Again, the key here is to just attention to details. You need to use, again, credible resources. If you got questions, ask them. I understand that uh, doing a course online or even in lecture, doing it live, uh, some of the things and the ways I, way I communicate aren't clear, so you need to make sure you ask that question and be proactive. Um, I want to stress here, everybody starts with an A. I want you to keep that A, so you need to make sure you earn it, though. There's a lot of writing, but again, all the writing you do is going to work towards that final portfolio. So stay on top of things, attention to detail. Uh, course tools, right at the start, on the home page, at the top, you're going to see a bunch of tools you can use throughout the, the course. Simple ones that are obvious like the syllabus and the rubrics, but you'll see other resources. Then the course is set up with weekly tasks. The key here is to start at that module with those dates and just go through those weekly tasks and try to keep that on a weekly basis instead of letting things stack up. Um, the course schedule then is set up with these modules, which is a couple weeks where we'll cover one area. Uh, make sure you click on the calendar link on the right and you'll be able to stay up on the due dates of uh, projects and assignments and quizzes. The key to success here is to make sure you actually view all the video lectures. I try to keep them under 10 minutes and then there's workshops in there. Do the workshops. When I ask you to do a workshop, it's most likely going to be a component in your next assignment. So that's kind of your first draft. Make sure you also take notes because what happens here is the questions that I have on all your assessments all come from these videos. And the other thing is, is I can see the analytics online, whether you're actually viewing that information or not. If, the, if you do this, if you actually watch the videos, you do the workshops and take notes, then when you do all the assessments, it's going to be very easy to score very well. All right, simple then. Our, our first task here, and you'll use this with your first quiz bowl in your writing assignment, is I want you to go through and review the, uh, the syllabus. I've done a detailed one that you can click on the link, but just do the cover page here. Take some notes, and then if you've got questions, don't be afraid to ask those. Second thing is go ahead and look at the rubrics. One of the common things I see happen is students wait till the last second to look at the rubric and you miss something. Look at them ahead of time. Look at them here before you even start the class so you know what is going to be expected of you as you go throughout the whole term. And then last, writing expectations. It's a method I call TRI. You've got to know this. You've got to understand this because this is how I'll use my assessment of your writing. Um, and to keep things consistent throughout the whole course. Again, see the first discussion board? You can use that or you can email me as we get going. Thanks.